Welcome back to Brown Trump. Let's get him. Get him. Let's get around, dude. Get him. No, oh get shot. No way. Brown Trout, day two, welcome back. I'm welcome gathered back. here with my guide, Marv the Intern. Yeah. Check him out below if you haven't already. Thanks, dude. Um, it's bitter, bitter cold today. Yesterday was like 26 degrees, now today is like all of zero. Still pretty low wind, which is good, otherwise we'd really be dying, but we're just getting our holes punched, and we were spot jacked this morning. If you don't know what spot jacked is, it's basically when you got a really good bite going on, and then somebody shows up in your spot. Ah, who's that guy? <laughs> Look Me. at this. And it's just, it, I'm blessed to have him out here with us today. He's a big ice fisherman. He, he lives and dies for ice fishing. So he's super pumped. Um, we're gonna talk to him in a little bit, but we're gonna punch some holes now, set up the automatic fisherman and get ready to fish. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Yesterday was extremely successful. Stephanie caught her first brown trout. Cole caught her first brown trout. Um, that was amazing. That was awesome. It's much colder today than yesterday. So we're getting a little bit later start. It's like seven o'clock. I wish we would've been set up more like six o'clock, but we were all just beat tired from yesterday. Um, Mav and Natty are right behind me there. They're kind of doing some spot jacking, but they're doing more so like some lifestyle photos. If you guys don't know what that is, it's where you just kind of take photos when you're out and about doing activities, but you're not really like posing for them. So they're doing that there. They're getting all set up. Uh, we're gonna do some jigging just like yesterday, set up some autos and uh, hopefully connect. So stay tuned. Matt Dog, how you feeling? I'm morning? feeling so good today. Like this is gonna be a better day than yesterday. You're feeling like I'm like I'm actually feeling like pretty jacked like up. Big I'm like warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah. Is it a Minnesota thing or what is it when it's negative? It's like all right, the baseball caps get broken out. It's just uh, uh just no self care. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Couple of sinkers, barrel swivel because uh catch a brown they fight hard enough where you get pretty good line twist so you need a barrel swivel and uh, usually we do four to six pound liters and uh, size eight or ten just a little single hook and a shiner some people use spawn but I can't get this right there it's the key I don't know if that's the key at all. <laughs> Alrighty, same approach as yesterday. Just using that big long hole hop and dip stick. Tiny little jig and a dragonfly. I'm gonna start in the same exact hole that I ended in yesterday that I caught that decent trout in. The only difference is today, I've got a nice bucket to sit on. And everyone else seems to be jigging around me, but that's okay. Well, I'm about to catch one here. This is the hot hole. Yo, yeah. Eight inch holes, eh? Yo, yeah. How deep are we? Eight feet. Huh. Eight, ten feet. But then, like, out there's. Do like... you mark lots of them? No, dude. Like, uh, like I'm jigging like three feet off the bottom right now. Dude, you'll, if you mark one, you'll freaking catch it. Really? Yeah, dude. Just comes in and strokes it? Yeah, dude. The mass is fading. Okay, when you hook up, I'm gonna grab a deuce for you. Hell yeah. It's just nice to be out here, guys. It's just nice to be out. Should we do some recording right now? Let's turn that sucker around. Yeah, let me turn this up. Are you digging mono? Flora. What? Flora. Oh, you just marked something. No way. Like a smelt or something. Oh, that's Jeez. that's a brown, dude. Get him. Get him. Get brown, dude. Get him. No, oh fish on. No way. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Literally, Spencer's sitting right here. He's like, I'm just going to chill by you and grab your juicer if you hook up. I go to turn the big camera on and he freaking hooks up. No way. Unreal, dude! <laughs> What's going on? I started fishing for two seconds. You didn't even bring your rod over here. You're just laying on I the ice. Even, I wouldn't even call that fishing. So we went to go mess with the camera, and Spence was like, oh, dude, you're marking a smelt or something. No way. This is not a smelt, bud. Dude. Dude, I was guys, literally jigging for two I went to turn on the camera, and he's just like well, laying, laying the little like this. Not as big dude, as... this knot where your floral meets your braid is super stressful. Oh, it's good. It's not like <laughs> you should probably get that checked out. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I mean, I just dude, been, I thought I was like marking. I just finished drilling like all these holes. Just, and yeah. little hair <laughs> You're jigging all day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I come over here and I'm changing a GoPro it, battery, getting all set up, ready yeah, to go. And buddy's like, oh, market thing. Time stuff. Go slow with him. 
Definitely a white fish. <laughs> oh, easy. He's don't stuck. pull, dude. He's stuck. Let go, let go. This go. is just a gong show. Is he coming up? Yeah, he's coming there up. There he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my gun! Oh, save it, save it. Okay, save the egg. Oh. Woo That's as good as it gets right there, baby! Oh, eggs. eggs in the morning? Yeah, dude, you gotta get... <laughs> As you guys can see, I, I feel so bad. I was fishing in Zoe's hole for two seconds. I feel terrible, and I caught this fish in his hole on his rod on his setup. It was epic, but that's how it works. On your back. It These things epic. bite whenever you can't predict it. So we're gonna slide him right back. Look at the colors on that one. Unbelievable! Look at the dots on that face. So cool. Tuck him right back. Oop! Definitely caught in that rod. Kind of greasy. There we go. There's a lot of slush here. So we're gonna have to kind of work with them a little bit here. And there he goes, that's so good. Dude, that that's so good. The vex is right here. And I- The tripod is right there. Literally came up to Sobe and I said, hey Sobe, I'm just gonna hang out next to you today. Started jigging like this, and I marked like what I thought was like a little smelt or something small on the vex. Went like this, like kind of like sat up, picked up, and he just kind of like tipped it, and I was like, right on, game on, hooked up. <laughs> Beautiful Two bro. seconds. In so we saw. <laughs> That's just some of the things that can happen when ice fishing. If there's a lesson to be learned here, it's that it, just, I don't know, make your friends turn on your camera, never set your pole down, never leave Spencer in sight of your rod and reel because that was just freaking crazy. That was awesome. He's literally laying right here. <laughs> Mark comes in, I'm playing with the camera, he hooks up, and there's like, <laughs> meanwhile, Natty up north is right to my right. She's just jigging. She jigged super hard all day yesterday. Hasn't marked a fish yet. I've got Steph and Cole right down there. Marv the intern is literally right back here. It's like all this happens and Spencer comes for two minutes. So I know what you guys are thinking. He's a pretty easy guy to hate. And it just, he just, he keeps piling on. So just like that, this hole and my rod is just used and abused. He was here for two minutes. Did his deal, caught his fish, and he moved on to the next guy. He's now laying next to Marv. And um, I don't know, he's just bugging him. I was glad to get him out of my hair though. It was nice he caught a fish in my hole and now he's just, he's done with me, so. We're just gonna keep jigging. No way, Steph's hooked up, Steph's hooked up. Oh my oh, God. God. No way. Stephanie's hooked up. Well, all of a sudden, Natty, we saw the auto go off. And I looked down and we're still jigging. And then I looked down at my Vex. There's a big mark, like three feet down, barely down the ice hole. And it just, it hit really hard. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There's definitely a little morning run going on right now. It seems like Spencer just caught his. They kept marking consistently for the past 10 minutes. Boom, auto pops off, Natty runs down there. Boom, Steph just hooks up. So hopefully Natty's hooked up down there. Steph looks like she's got a really nice one. Um, this is this is gonna be a freaking awesome morning. Yeah. We got some of Griff's buddies helping us out here. Introduce you guys' names. I'm Cole. You're cool. Johnny. Oh, you Maybe like do, do so what we were doing cool. yesterday, like keep tension on it, but kind of yes. let it down a little bit. Oh, yeah, there he goes. goes. There he goes. He's stuck on that slush pile right there. There we go. This is unreal. We just hit a double. Now I just got the first brown shot of her life, biggest brown shot of her life. And now Steph is hooked up. My girl Steph is hooked <laughs> up! I can't believe the slush. Oh shit. Gotcha. Keep that on the side. That's good. You ain't gonna get any more. Oh. Boom! Oh my god. Oh, yes! Thank you! Oh, this is so awesome! What's <laughs> <laughs> part about the snake is? Oh no, you! <laughs> Nothing like spawn in the morning. You oh. slipped right out of my hands. <laughs> and there she goes! <laughs> nice job! Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. That my was epic. My hands are so slimy. <laughs> Another jigging fish. Oh, my hands are so cold. Epic. Absolutely epic morning. While this was going on, another fight was happening just down the way on an automatic fisherman, and I gotta get her opinion on it because this was not only her biggest brown ever, it's her first brown ever. First 
first brown ever. That was so cool. I'd been jigging, I'd been marking some fish, but first auto went over, went off over there, and I, I ran like my life depended on like, it. Like a total 300-yard It was 300 really yard far, and the snow was like super deep, but you know, I didn't even think it was that big of a fish. It, like I was on one yesterday that felt a lot bigger. It was doing some little kind of head shakes, but when I saw that face come through the ice, my jaw dropped. It was just like insane to see. What, was it a big male, big Yeah, big, jaw? yeah, oh yeah, hook big jaw, ball. yeah. Yeah, I gotta show you the photo. Good vibes, happy days. Good vibes, happy it. days. This is just unbelievable. Another huge shout out to Griffin and his pals for freaking letting us come out here and taking us out and showing us the ropes. It's, this is this is ridiculous. This is awesome. Steph's just getting rigged back up here. Um, I don't know if she talked about it at all, but she's literally just using a little metallic crappie jig and a plastic on the back. That's it. I, we're setting all these autos up. We got these gorgeous, gorgeous shiners on them. But these fish are roaming around and they're eating tiny little jigs. They're um loving it. They're really loving it. So I think we're gonna get her hooked back up. She's gonna go back down. This little area we're sitting in here is just it's like eight to fifteen feet mm -hmm. and it's hot. These fish are circulating around, checking out our baits, and the folks are connecting. Alrighty, everybody's still over there jigging. We've uh, decided to make a little breakfast this morning. Got a little venison burger from back home. Thanks, Dad. Huge shout out to you. Um, yeah, we're just we're just cooking some food up for the kids. And uh, Cole, are you having breakfast too? Uh, well, I didn't eat this morning, and I normally have a couple eggs uh, when for, I wake for up. For protein, yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna yeah go ahead and oh, oh. protein. So we're gonna cook these up and invite people over and crack a few more eggs and uh, keep the ball rolling.